Auto Fix Pile. Today we're going to do a video on how to properly set the CVT fluid level on any Nissan that has a dipstick. In order to do this correctly, you will need a scanner that can read the data from the transmission control module. So let's begin. In this example, we are using a 2009 Nissan Altima. So you'll want to load your vehicle information in and then you want to select transmission. After that's finished loading, you'll go ahead and select live data. And then you're going to wait some more. Then you'll select all signals. And with this scanner, you have the ability to search for the PID, the parameter identifier that you want to, that you'll want to be uh, monitoring. So I'll go ahead and search for temp, T-E-M-P. And the PID that we are looking for is ATF temp count. So we'll go ahead and just select that PID. And um, right now we are at 110 ATF temp count. It just went up to 111. Where we need to be is 160. Once we reach 160 ATF temp count, then we can go ahead and set our fluid level correctly. Now this is the part right here where it can get a little tricky. There are two notches on the dipstick. There's also a crosshatch section on the dipstick. The crosshatch section on the dipstick is where you'll want to set your fluid level to. You want it in the center of the crosshatch section. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but it has to be somewhere close to the center of the crosshatch, se the crosshatch section of that dipstick. It's important that you get the CVT fluid level correct because these transmissions are not as forgiving as a regular automatic transmission would be. Once you have the CVT fluid level correct, be sure to go into the CVT deterioration date and reset the numbers. You can find that in the special functions section. That's it for this video, but um, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave your comment down below. Um, you know, subscribe to my channel. Click the like button if you like it. Click the thumbs down button if you don't like it. But, you know, just you know, let me know what you think of the video. And um, thanks for watching once again. Peace out.